Some of these guys are so afraid, and others, you know. Some of the athletes? Some of these guys are just shaking. You can the, just, they're all terrified. They're just not admitting it. This guy's all over the place. He doesn't know if he wants to look good for the cameras. He don't know if he wants to. Oh, yeah, look at it. Shadow boxes for the camera. Ready. Dude. Oh, yeah. the you got that ready. camera, too? <laughs> got camera one, camera two. There's a photographer over there. Let me go over here. <laughs> Driver's license, registration, insurance. Please turn your car off. Why are you drag racing that Cadillac? <laughs> I didn't drag race. Sir, driver's Cadillac. license, registration, and insurance, please. I did not drag race a Cadillac. I watched you do it right there at Broadway. No, you did not, sir. No, Any reason? Not. No, you did not. I did not drag race a Cadillac. Okay. Any reason, sir? Any reason for what? For the way you're driving. Well, you took off there at Broadway after I, you revved I your did engine. Not after you revved your engine. I didn't I say, I didn't say drag wipe. Yeah, you I said, said drag, drag race. race. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely, and I did not. Okay. So you just felt it necessary to take off at a high rate of speed? Just I did to do not. It? I did not uh, break the speeding limit at all. And I did I not didn't say you broke the speed limit. And I did not take off at a high speed. What's the speed limit there on Central? I, I don't know, but I know I wasn't near it. Then how do you it. know that you didn't break it? Because I was going to speed limit okay, and I was you were pulling speed. away from me. You know, I'm so upset right now. Why don't you just hand me your driver's oh, license, yeah. oh, registration here, here, and insurance? Here, absolutely. Go ahead and get the registration and insurance out of there for me, Jonathan. Absolutely. Is there an interlock in this vehicle? Yes, there is. Can I see it, please? Absolutely. Thank you. I cannot wait for you to prove that I was drag racing because I know for a fact that I wasn't. So nice try. I had this crazy thing that I would do um, where I would party one week before every fight. And I did it throughout my whole career. And, uh, and this was stupid, but it was this mental crutch that I had. I literally would, one week before every fight, I would go out and I would get blacked out wasted. <laughs> and my logic was, if this guy were to beat me somehow, um, I, I can look myself in the mirror and say that, well, I lost because I got hammered the week before the fight. So it was a built-in safety net. It was a safety net. Yeah, exactly. So I did it my whole career. I, w I would go out and get hammered one week before every fight. My Open St. Prue fight was the first fight that I did not do that. <laughs> it was my worst performance. So he said he'll chase you up to heavyweight. He'll chase you all over the place. Do you, you're kind of, you don't, you don't buy it? Come on. Daniel Cormier has fought many heavyweights. And, and he says in his interviews that John is a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger than you would imagine when you're in there with him. This is guys that's, this is a guy who's fought, I mean, Bitfoot, Bitfoot Silva, right? Right, right. Bitfoot Silva. Yeah. I, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think a, a long, lean middleweight um, would, would uh, present me much problem, especially once I got my hands on him and put him to the ground. Mm. Yeah, people people are can eat up what he's saying, but the truth of the matter is he's scared today. Why do you think that? Oh, he'll be scared in 2020 as well. Okay. Yeah, his back is going to be against the wall in 2020. 2021. 2021. Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah. yeah, correct. Because that's when you guys said that. That's when he said Raiders that. Stadium. He'll be. That's yeah. This is all what he's saying. At the end of the day, dude. I am so far ahead when it comes to, I mean, you name it. In every sense of this game, I'm so far ahead of this kid. So the fact that I'm even talking about him right now, I'm just going to stop. Okay. Yeah. Is that, Why is your is car that, so loud? Why is my, man, you're just harassing me, man. I'm just asking you a simple question, my Jonathan. My car is loud because it's a sports car. Okay. Sit tight. I'll be with you in a minute. Cut the attitude. The ticket here is going to be for drag racing, competitive racing. You need to go to court on the 5th of next month at 11.25 in the morning. I need you to sign inside this box here. You're not admitting guilt to this citation. You're letting me know you're aware of the court date. This next ticket here is also going to be a vehicle nuisance. Exhibition driving, revving your engine, making unnecessary engine noise. Let me finish, okay? okay. Same court date, same time. Once again, sign inside this box. You're not admitting guilt. You're letting me know you're aware of the court date. This next ticket here is also going to be a Bridge vehicle nuisance uh, modification or loud exhaust. Same court date, same time. Once again, I need you to sign inside the box. 
you're not admitting guilt, sir, you're letting me know you're aware of the court date. And this last ticket is going to be driving within your traffic lane. You drove out of your lane three times as we were approaching the interstate. Same court date, same time. And the last ticket here is going to be for illegible license plate. Your registration sticker is covered up with your whatever cover, vanity cover you have over your license plate. The registration sticker is uh, illegible. Same court date, same time. I need you to sign inside this box. Once again, you're not admitting guilt. You're letting me know you're aware of the court date. Did you have something you wanted to say, Mr. Jones? Yes, I do. Are you, is your thing recording here? It's always recording. Did you have something you wanted to yes, say, Mr. Yes, Jones? Yes, absolutely. You and I both know that you, that I was not drag racing. No, sir, I actually you know that you were drag racing. Okay, I watched you do okay, it. Okay, okay, let me talk, right? Okay. Do I have that right Mr. To Jones, talk? we're not having court out here. Do I have that right You have a talk? court date and you can... Do I have that right to talk? You do have that right to talk okay, and you so can tell us in right court. Let me talk, okay? Go ahead, tell me what you're going to tell me. No. Don't tell me what I know. You're you going to testify to what I know? No, no, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm going to testify to what you know. I know that you, you were drag racing, and I will testify to that. That I was not drag racing. Actually, you I do know that I you were drag racing. You and I both know that I did not speed. You and I both know that I freaking revved my engine at the red light, and I never took off racing at all. Nor was the car next to me ever took off racing. I just... Simply Both of you engine. took off at a high rate of speed, sir. No, I did Only not. Only you kept going. He no, slowed I down. No, I did not. Okay. You are an absolute f***ing liar. Well, we can talk about it in court. I need you to sign inside this box. Once again, you're not admitting guilt. You're letting me know you're aware of the court date. Last question. Uh, your last fight was a long time ago against Dominic Reyes. Yes. Very good athletes that gave you some problems, maybe a lot of problems. Uh, and three years is a long time. Yeah. You've been a winner for a long time, and the UFC changed in that time. The GOAT is coming back, and I always say you're the Michael Jordan, Jordan of the sport. Appreciate what a, that. do you think you're gonna face a LeBron James type of athlete and the UFC change that much? Uh, what was the ending of that question? I'm sorry. You, you like Michael Jordan, let's say it. You, you're the you. GOAT, but you might face a LeBron James athlete. Do you think you're ready for that? LeBron James. <laughs> oh, he's LeBron? Serious Cere LeBron James? Tell me. Already? He's I, LeBron James? I'm asking you. How did he get to LeBron James status? I'll play very well. I'll play very well. Huh? I got a good shoot. I got a good hand. You, you, you hear Cyril talking about wanting to win this fight and be considered a goal. It just doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Um, I'm, I'm honored. I'm honored that people consider me to be in that class of athlete. It, it means the world to me. And uh, my job is just to try to stay as humble as I can, continue to work hard, stay focused, and, uh, and let, let, the, you know, let the people decide, you know, who's Jordan, who's LeBron, and things like this. Um, I'm just going to keep working hard. I'm going to keep giving glory to God, and I'm just going to keep doing my best. That's always worked out for me. You just mentioned about being prepared to bleed and stuff like that. I know you're a technician at this sport, but you're also someone who can go in there with bad intentions. You want to go in there and prove that you can beat this guy up. Cyril talks about this as a sport, as an athletic competition. Do you think when it comes down to it, he just doesn't have some bad intentions in him like you could take in there? Well, I believe that, you know, if, if I go out there and stand in front of him and, and let him get into his rhythm, then I'm sure he would have bad intentions. I won't be lulled to sleep by him of like, oh, you know, I'm just happy to be here. It's just the sport, you know, life goes on if I win or lose, you know. 
I feel like I fight from something a little bit different. You know, there's there's, there's a dog inside of me. It was interesting because uh, during the countdown, his coach was like, you know, for the Tai Two to fight, we we focused on bringing out Cyril's dog, and I don't feel like that's something your coach has to should have to like teach you about being a dog. It, either you have it or you don't. And uh, I know that I'm a dog at the end of the day. I have, that, I have a dog in me. I have a lion in me. I have, I have a, a, a vicious warrior inside of me. It's who I am. And uh, losing is not an option. This is not just a sporting event to me. This is, this is my life. This is my image. This is my legacy. Um, this is me. And um, my reasons why are really big, you know. My reasons why are really big, and I, I don't know if his energy matches mine when it comes to the seriousness of how I take this, this fight in this game. If you do not sign in the box, sir, I will have to take you to see a judge. That means that I will place you under arrest, I'm and then you will go see a judge. I'm going to call my lawyer to ask him about this paperwork. Okay. I'm sure I have the right to do that, buddy. Well, Fuck believe it, because I'm not for joking. For no reason. Fucking with me for no reason. What's your name? Officer Brown. It's on your ticket, sir. I can't believe you. You're ridiculous. Just doing my job. No, you're not doing your job. You're picking me, this Corvette out for no reason. Oh, and blaming me for all this shit that you know isn't true. Work. You're ridiculous. It is not no I reason, fucking, sir. I used to really respect the police folks. You would rather I just turn my head and let you be a nuisance to the I citizens? I'm not a nuisance to the citizens. I've sworn to protect the citizens you, from I'm people like you, Mr. Jones. Please don't dig around your, in your car. Your, give me, I was looking for a pen. Give me the shit. I can't believe you. You're ridiculous. Well, believe it because it's the truth, sir. You're ridiculous. You're a fucking liar. Inside the box, sir. Good luck trying to prove that I was speeding. Inside the box. Give me a second. Can I read this shit? Okay, I explained wait? it to like you. You've been making me wait. How do you sleep with yourself? Well, you're lucky night? you're not going to jail tonight for well, reckless driving. For what? For, for reckless, reckless driving. driving? Yeah, right. Nice try. Sure, I'm lucky. I'm not lucky about shit. Well, you're yeah. going to hurt somebody someday or yourself, How sir. How do you sleep The way with you yourself? drive. I, okay, so you caught... I, drive, I was driving while tonight. You're yeah. You're lying, buddy. You're lying. Drag racers hurt people, sir. I was not drag racing. You, people okay, get so hurt all the time. So you just admitted that the guy didn't didn't race me and, and he stayed put and I drove fast. No, I told so you that I both of you left the light at a high rate of speed and he slowed down, no, so you, you didn't kept going. Say that. You did not. Okay, say well, that. you can listen to it in court with your attorney. You did not say that. Any other questions for me, sir? You are ridiculous. That's not a question. You can form that in the form you of a question if you like. Ridiculous. Do you have any questions for me, sir? Ridiculous. Have a good night. I can't believe you. Deep inside yourself, are you a good guy trying to be bad, or are you a bad guy trying to be good? That's a good question. I think I am a bad guy that's trying to be good. Just because religiously we're all sinners. We're all sinners. We're born into sin. It's our nature to, to sin. And, um, and it's a decision to try to do the right thing. You know, it's, it's a decision to do the right thing when no one's looking, right? And so um, I, think, I think all of us as humans, none of us are shit. And, uh, and it's our choice to try to be more than. And so, so I, would, I had to say I lean closer to being an imperfect human that's trying to do the right things and be good. And I was still winning, and and it caught up to me. It definitely caught excuses, up. Excuses, only excuses. That's all I hear. Nothing else. That's all I hear. I beat you once, I can beat you again. Is the goal this time around to make it much more clear cut and dominant? Yeah, the, the goal is to finish this fight, and, and that's what I will do. I will finish this fight. This fight, I'm not going to give him the respect I gave him the first time. I'll push him. I will push him, and I will show the world you can you can beat the man that's never been beaten before. Male. I, I got a question fighter. for you, Alex. I'm here. If my excuse was that I didn't train hard enough, what's your excuse for losing? That's where you're wrong. I didn't lose, John. We all know that. I didn't lose. All right. And I can show the world he's beatable. He bleeds like everyone else. And I'm going to show it to t uh, 29. I promise you. Did you beat DC as well? <laughs> no, but I will beat you. 
I will beat you. Wait. No, I mean, we had a close fight. Do you consider that you did get ripped off in the DC fight as well? It was a split decision. I lost, but I will beat you, John. But you did beat me, but you lost to DC. Whatever it is, yeah, I did, but I beat you. What about Anthony Johnson? Did you beat him? No, but I still beat you, John. What about it's Phil all about Davis? our fight. What about Phil Davis? Did you beat him too? No, I beat you. I'm just trying to give you a psycho psychological value. That, that, that's the only thing that counts. Nothing else, John. Just making sure. It's just the past. I feel it in my sparring already that my hands have completely changed my defensively and offensively. Are you sure? No, I think so. Are you sure? I think so. I'm looking forward to it. Nice. There you go, a little personality. Keep, keep going. Say it again. With, say it with a pico, pico, pictogram. It's, instead of just saying John Jones's balls is way bigger than mine's, and that's why he beat me. This guy has found a way to justify why he lost. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. We'll see you on Saturday. We'll see you on Saturday. It's hilarious. We'll see. The craziest John, thing is that the we people... We have a fight coming up now on Saturday. Oh, you 100? still have that peak of gravity We're in here. your body. Yes, I What's sure up? did. And that's why I beat you. That What's peak of What? You know, it doesn't matter if it's on rocket fuel or whatever. I'm going to beat him anyway on Saturday night. You say the same shit every interview. I'm in the best shape of my and life. you're not, John. I'm in the and best shape not. of my life. I'm in and the you best shape not. of my life. I'm ready. I'm in the best shape of my life. You say the same dry ass shit every fight. And you're not. Shut John. the fuck up. And you are not. You said the same shit before you got knocked out in front of your whole country. Shut the fuck up. I'm excited to whoop his ass. I can say whatever I want. If I believe it in my heart, then I will say it. And yes, I do believe he's done it. Ever. I, that's I, why I you. Clean. That's why you look like you look. How do I look? You're a bum. That's why you looked like a bum last time. Fine, that's all Who for sure. Who looks show. like a junkie here today? I look like a, I'm you not, like I'm a not, crackhead hey. with a suit on. What's that? You look like a crackhead with a suit on. I could look like a crackhead with a suit on, but I've never been a crackhead like you don't. I feel supercharged. Everything's going so smooth. Our energy's in a great place. And uh, I got a feeling, man, we're going to take this great energy into the fight on Saturday night and absolutely dominate. People think I do bad against tall people, so I'm excited for this challenge. He's undefeated. Um, so yeah, I, this guy tickles my pickle, and, uh, and, uh, and I cannot wait. Pause. I cannot wait to put my hands on him. There, there's like a, there's a gigantic jump between me and the heavyweights. Me and Izzy, we're only 15, 20 pounds apart. So if Izzy really wanted to fight me, he would do it. Izzy's a pussy, and, and, and there's... And, and, and there's really no way around, there's no way around it. I read that book like three years ago, so. It's a good, good book. book. It's a good book. It's a great book. I'm, I'm glad you did. I'm reading it right now. On this it might have helped camp. me get here, to be honest. You know, I'm reading it right now in this training camp leading into beating your ass. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, Johnny boy. Not gonna happen. Great, great response, Dominic. Oh, I'm, this, I'm the one. I promise you. You're the one. You, you will beat, see. You knocked out Chris Whiteman. He's been knocked out so many times. You knocked. Good job. When was the last time you knocked anyone out ever? Bro, we saw your highlight reel. It was straight left. Straight left. Straight left. Hey, left uppercut. Home runs work, baby. Yeah, they do. They do. At a certain level, they do. Yeah, this and level. More athletic, just more hungry, more, more to prove. More on the line. This, this shit means so much to me. This is my life, dude. This isn't like just, just some. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Then let's meet in the octagon and fight, John Jones. I, I, you know that I am going to bring that to you. I'm going to do everything in my, in my power to make sure you never forget the night you stepped in the octagon with me. All right, TC, uh, I'm not sure if you saw John's Instagram account. If not, take a listen to uh, what he had to say immediately following the altercation. Yo, DC, you suck. You suck. You're going to chop me on the neck and get beat up. And I had you on your back. What? in like six seconds. You suck, you felt so weak. You know what, I, uh, I've fought many great fighters before. 
I've fought many great wrestlers before. I think there's a huge difference between a, a great wrestler who's learned how to throw a few punches and kicks and a martial artist. I embody the spirit of a martial artist, the heart of a martial artist, what it truly means to be a martial artist. I'll give up my arm, I'll give up, I'll give up an eye, I'll give up a broken a toe. It doesn't matter. There's nothing you can do to stop me, Daniel Cormier. But Please, what did in, I did what, not, but what, did what, I, what, did, hold on, John, I just, I just want to ask you a question. I just want to ask you a question. I just, you a question. You I just want to ask you a question. I just what? let you talk. You said you could take me down 100 times out of 100 mm -hmm. times, right? And that's what you're going to do, right? I challenge you to get me down five times in that five round fight. You won't be able to do that. Maybe <laughs> you will get me down once. I believe in my whole heart that I'll get you down too. But the difference is when I get you down, your face will open up. There is nothing you can do to stop me from coming at you round after round with the most malicious techniques I know. You will lose this fight, Daniel Cormier. I want you to believe it. Every ounce of training you put in leading up to this fight will be a waste of your life. <laughs> DC, quick response. There, hey, that is great. I'm glad that he feels that way. This is what I want. I want a dog fight. If you can bring a dog fight to me, please do it. I, I live oh, for this. Please. This dude trying to get in here. Look at this big old muscle head back here. The old meat blanket. With the security guard shirt on. I beat his ass. Look at him. Big for no reason. Oh, hey, buddy. I thought he caught us. This dude, you guys think this guy can fight? What do you guys think? This dude chewing on this guy. Fourth round, fourth round. John will open his hands, let his grip go, and say, Daniel, take it. This is too hard. I don't want to deal with it. I'm going to push that man to a place that he's never been in his entire life, and I will make John Jones quit. Sunday morning, Joe Rogan, you will wake up and you will say, How Daniel make this look so easy? John Jones, your reaction to that? Hey. hey. Hey, Joe, listen, the guy has a job commentating for a reason. Bring my arm in, my hand in. I lift it up, drop my hand down, and I threw the elbow. Boom. I know a human skull feels like, like the back of my hand because I've elbowed so many people in the face and no one's getting it. Elbows stop the fight. When people get elbowed in the face and they haven't seen their own blood before, half the battle's won already right there. For you guys who are fighting kickboxers that may be a little bit better at kickboxing, you get this guy on the ground, open him up. You'd be surprised how many fighters hasn't seen their own blood. You don't know if I'm gonna shoot on you or if it's gonna be a fake shot. You, don't, you just don't know what, you, what you're getting into. And you, so you can say what you want, but I know. Cause you think you know. And you think you know, you just said that. Yo, you're weird, bro. And you don't think all my opponents watch me fight and say, oh Rashad, he does I this. Oh Rashad, he does this. Day. Oh, he does that. I watch you when all day. When you're in it day. with me? You're not, gonna, you're not gonna keep up with me, Rashad. I'm younger than you, and my technique is a lot cleaner. I take the sport a lot more serious. Dude, and, how, do you, uh, how do you know how serious oh, I take the sport? I know I do. How do you know? I how know because I love this game. Okay. I feel like I'm just getting started. That's okay. the thing, and you're at the end. Okay. Am I at the end? Oh, Why yeah. is that? Because I said so. I feel like I know what I'm getting into with Quentin. I've been watching his 40-something fights every day. I mean, his, his DVD is in my laptop constantly, and while he's playing video games, I'm watching him. So uh, hopefully I can show that uh, I, I don't get hit a lot for a reason, and hopefully we can keep it going. Quentin, how do you respond to that? We, we, <laughs> we know he's watching me. He's watching my training. He's watching everything. I'm, I'm fully confident in, 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 in this fight. I don't care what he's watching. You know what I'm saying? He can keep watching, uh, but on the 24th, he's gonna be watching the lights from on his back. Now, John Jones, how do you respond to Quentin's accusations that there is a spy in his camp? And, you know, what he did was fake an injury, talk about this injury, and then all of a sudden he gets a call from Joe Silva asking if he has this injury. Your manager says, oh, I read about it on Twitter, but Qu according to Quentin, there was nothing on Twitter about this. He believes there's a spy in his camp, and that spy talks directly to your camp. I think, it's, I think it was a tactic of his to try to get in my head, which it worked, which it worked uh, way, but you know what, Rampage, you did it way too soon. You should have did it fight week because now uh, it just shows more of your character and your paranoia. And 
you know, do what you got to do, Rampage. I think you're setting yourself up for failure. You said it at the press conference. I always have an excuse for why I lost. And uh, after this fight, you can tell everybody you want to tell that I had a spy in your camp. And I hope that makes you feel better. got up front, I guess, in front of all the people, you know, you got a little hype and, and got it in my face. As me and Daniel were walking towards each other, I knew that it was going to be one of those face-offs when we got right into each other's faces. He felt the need to karate chop me in the throat. Um, instinctually, I reacted. I just think we both acted really immaturely up there, you know, I, I, I think things just escalated way too fast. Uh, so I definitely want to take the time to apologize to all my fans that I may have let down. Uh, I wanted to apologize to the MGM. I'm not afraid of John Jones in any way, shape, or form. So he's not going to come in there and try and bully me. That's not going to happen. So, yeah, I pushed his ass. Get out of my face. F John. Can you hear that, John? Oh, uh, you got your ass whipped today, buddy. No, I didn't. You're a pussy. Oh, uh, yeah, you did it. Yeah, I you You're back. such a little b I had you Oh, my God. Back. I had you on your back. <laughs> you suck, bro. You're such a little Yo. Felt so weak. I'm glad to know that. <laughs> you're tiny. I'm Yo, like, this dude sucks. Everybody, everybody say you're so strong. You're weak. Okay. You're a little fat <laughs> You're a John. Oh, my God. You're you so hit, weak. First off, you hit like a If you even hit yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hit like a you I do. hit like a you but do. I didn't hit you. You, no. you didn't You didn't because I didn't even feel it. Oh, man. I felt Melky's punch more than yours, you little f***ing punk. Uh, oh, yeah. You're so mad. I can hear it in your voice. Oh, f***ing <laughs> Okay, John. I can't wait to beat the shit out of you. Yeah, like just like you did today. You're on your butt. If you really think, if you really count today as a fight, you're, you're fucking butt. ignorant. You fucking you're, junior college your, dropout. Oh, so you well, junior college it? dropout. Yeah, that's why I have ten million in the bank. You a, junior college okay, dropout. I'm a you're junior, still an idiot. I'm a junior college knock. I'm a junior college. Dropout. You're still an idiot. You're still junior, an idiot. I'm a junior college. You're dropout. still an idiot. I'm a junior. Tra you're college. still an idiot. Junior, you're still. Tra I don't yeah, care how much money you got. You are still. Yes, idiot. yes, I'm sitting on 10 mil, baby. What yeah, you sitting on? You're Shut an up. idiot. Shut up. You're an idiot. Shut up. You're an idiot. Yeah, it's all it's money, I huh? You're an your idiot. Ass. No, you didn't. I whooped That's your how, ass. That goes to show your level of education I that you count that as a fight. <laughs> I whooped your ass. Well, I'm ass. glad you won this one because you're not winning the next time I, I get my hands on I you. I whooped your ass just now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I whooped your okay, ass. Okay, little boy. Now. You're on your butt. Okay, little boy. You're on your butt. Okay, little boy. You're a punk. Junior college dropout. That's what you I are. I got more money than you and your whole family. Doesn't matter. That's what you are. It doesn't change the fact that, guess what? When this is all said and done, you'll go back to being broke and being a loser as you are. Yeah, okay. That's sure. what you're going to do. Sure. That's in your nature. Sure. That's who you are. Sure. Sure. That's what you're going to sure. do. Hey, Trust me. Hey, if you need help paying for college bills, let me oh, know. Oh, I don't need help. That's the thing. I'm smart. I went to college. I'm smart. Oh, so every I'm month, smart. Oh, the money I get, I I'm, save. I'm smart. Oh, my God. I the money I get, smart. I save. Yours I is going to all get used up because you're an idiot. I save. My house is paid off for it. Yeah, you're fucking, sure. You're I'm an idiot, good, John. Baby. I'm John, you are good. an idiot, John. I don't need to commentate in my part time. I'm doing good. Hey, I commentate because I like to oh, and I want a future. What are you going to do, John Jones, after you're done fighting? I'm stacked up so good. I can tell you right now. Yeah, sure, John, whatever. Right you could, yeah, well, may, I'm glad you got it now because I'm Yo, taking everything on September 27th. Oh, shut up, fat I'm taking boy. everything shut September 27th. Up. Oh, my goodness. Hey, p are you still there? I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. You are just the fakest person. I actually admire that you can actually be this fake. And like when the TV comes on, how you can just change. It's like you're a chameleon. Hey, listen, it's I'm, awesome. a, I'm a professional. The it fact, is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. The fact that you're a pussy hasn't changed. It's but I unbelievable. Am a it's unbelievable how fake you can really be. Like you are just such a fucking pussy. My God, it is amazing. It is amazing. But you know what? Hats off to you. You got a great PR person because they they do a great job with training you because you are just terrible. You're the fucking scum of the earth. You are a terrible human being, but you can sure turn it on, huh? Thank you. God, you fucking suck. I wish they would let me next door so I can spit in your f***ing face. You know I would absolutely kill you if you ever did something like that, You right? could never, you could never kill me. Oh, I, I bet you I could. 
Then you should try, John. You really should try, John. No, I would literally kill you. You yeah. spit in my face. Yeah, let's try that, John. Literally kill you. Let's try that, John. I'm not, I mean, about, I'm, not, I'm not saying I will fight you. I said I will kill you. If John, you, did some do you think, do you, so, so, John, do you think I'm just going to sit there and let you kill me, John? I mean, really? <laughs> Coming from a guy who's 5'10". Oh, it doesn't matter how tall I am. It does not matter how tall I am. But you're such a man. How much you weigh right now, fat f Enough. How about you? I'm about 220, 223. Mm -hmm. Good. Feeling Thanks. strong. Man, Thanks. you're, Daniel, you're a weak as f today <laughs> okay john i swear to god like i tr john like i swear to god I, I don't want to insult you i don't want to fight and, and be petty but john if you really do are really basing anything off of what happened today on that floor you are an idiot yeah but how come you ended, ended up being on your on the floor and on your bed because they had all the security guards grabbing me and oh <laughs> you're the worst dude like seriously <laughs> I out wrestled him, I outworked him, I beat him at what he was good at, and uh, it feels good. Um, honestly, you know, I, I know it's always nice to be a class act after a victory, but I really hope he's somewhere crying.